one of the things that has surprised me about being a homeowner is I'm thinking how to frame this, but how low tech a oh, lot of yeah, housing yeah. construction and fixing yeah. actually is, right? Yeah. So, you know, if there's a leak in your ceiling, in your roof or something, it's literally either you or some guy that you hire going up on a ladder and like putting down a few more shingles with a nail gun, right? No, seriously, it's yeah. the year 2025 and we're still putting houses yeah. together with like, you know, yeah, nail hammers guns and you know, someone, like, someone comes with a box yeah. and they look through the different, they're like, no, this doesn't fit this doesn't fit oh i got it and then they're like one second i don't have the right screw it and they go around to a you know in the city they go around to a construction store i'll be right back yeah it's still probably the way it looked when we were kids i'm not completely pessimistic i personally i think that uh very very good you know automation and robotics have a good chance of of changing this but even if nothing else works if you have like a robot that costs five thousand dollars and like can basically duplicate you know 90 95 percent of what a person can do that would effectively solve your problem so we could get the uh the drones that go up on the roof and fix leaks and stuff like that why anything's possible